Hi guys, Meredith here. My kids and I recently finished a ocean unit study in our home school. And one of the days of our unit we devoted to studying sea otters. So I wanted to share some of the books that we found uh, the most useful for learning about sea otters. So this one is Sea Baby, A Little Otter Returns Home. And this is an otter rescue story about a baby otter that was separated from his mother and found by human rescuers and uh, rehabilitated and then released again into the wild. Um, it has beautiful illustrations and well-written uh, happy story. So that's Sea Baby, A Little Otter Returns Home. Another otter rescue story that we found was Pup 681, a sea otter rescue story. Um, this one has a similar story and is based on a real otter. Um, and this one again is a baby otter that is separated from its mother. The illustrations are really adorable and is cared for um, and then eventually finds a home at the shed aquarium in Chicago, Illinois, USA. Um, and yeah, it was really cute. Pup 681. And absolutely beautiful if you take away the otter. Um, and this one goes into um, the role that otters play in their ecosystem in the kelp forest. Um, and I really loves how this book illustrates the point that when humans disrupt an ecosystem, we don't necessarily know what the consequences will be. So in this case, um, humans hunted almost all of the otters in this area, and then that caused the sea urchins to take over the area, and it becomes basically a sea urchin desert uh, where nothing else can grow and live and then um, ends on a positive note that when the sea otter population rebounded, um, the kelp forest is able to come back and other animals and plants as well. So I really liked this one for its emphasis on understanding uh, ecosystems and how complex they are. And then this one has a similar theme. It's sea otter heroes, the predators that saved an ecosystem. Um, and again, this one emphasizes how, um, what role the otters play in their ecosystem and why um, this careful balance between different species um, is necessary for an ecosystem to thrive. Um, this one we actually didn't get to. Um, in our homeschool because we only spent a day on sea otters. And as you can see, this one is really long. But if I had longer to spend on sea otters, I would definitely include this book. And I love how it focuses on scientists and the work that scientists do. Uh, I think that is really valuable for kids to see what scientists actually do, what the work of a scientist is and how they approach problems. And to find scientist role models. So we have sea otter heroes. Okay, then I have Call On, The Adventurous Sea Otter. Uh, this one is a chapter book. So we didn't read this whole chapter book in our one day on otters. We actually spread it out over the week and just read it at our afternoon snack time, a couple of chapters each day. Um, this one I only found so-so. Uh, on the plus side, it really doesn't anthropomorphize the otters. The otters don't talk, they don't really engage in any non-otter-like behavior. Um, so I think you can learn a lot about otters through it, but on the flip side of that, on the downside, um, it makes the otters not very engaging um, in that they don't have a lot of personality and what they really seem interested in doing is eating all of the time. Like my daughter was getting annoyed because it just said over and over again, well, now the otters are hungry and they're gonna eat again. Um, so uh, we, di we didn't love this one, but uh, it was nice to include a chapter book on otters this week. And then finally, we used our 1,000 Things Under the Sea book um, by Usborne, and we used this kelp forest page, and I think this page is really good if you're when you're 
reflecting back on those books about ecosystems because it shows all sorts of animals that live in the ecosystem so you can see what role the sea otters can play. Um, and we also use these books, I'll make a photocopy of this on cardstock and then we cut these out and you can, the kids can play with them and my kids like making stop motion videos with them. So if you're studying kelp forests and otters, um, if you did something like this in your classroom or with your kids, it's a great way for them to sort of explore and play with the living things in that ecosystem. So that is all the otter books that I have. I put all of the links below um, for these books. Those are Amazon affiliate links. So if you use those links, uh, you'll pay the same amount on Amazon, but it also helps support this channel. So thanks for joining me and I will be back soon with more ocean videos for you.